Flushing's Art in the Park will not only highlight local talent, but will also support the charitable works of organizations across Genesee County. This morning we say hello to Carolyn Bailey and Barb Grimes with the Flushing Women's Club talking about this great summer event. Good morning. Good morning Hello there. Good to see you. Same here. Now this is a great tradition. This is year 58. Yes. Talk about just how this event has been a great tradition in itself, but what people can expect. Well, we are expecting nearly 70 artists this year to come with all of their crafts and their artwork. And so it's going to be a huge success, and the weather needs to stay nice, and uh, it should be a great event. Wonderful. Uh, well, before we talk more about Art in the Park itself, tell us a little bit more about the Flushing Women's Club and what you do. The Women's Club um, it supports our local community with um, charitable volunteer acts of service. Yes, and why are you so passionate about reinvesting into the community? It's our community, so we want to give back to help make our community um, be the best it can be. Yeah, and talk about how this supports your mission with Art in the Park. How it supports, well, with our fundraisers. Like I said, we have this event, and then we have our craft bazaar in the fall. Barb is the chairperson for that, and that's at the Flushing High School. And like I said, all the money we take in is given back to the community. That is wonderful. We donate to the schools, we donate to, uh, you know, just different organizations all over. Well, tell folks at home, uh, when is Art in the Park happening? This coming Saturday, the 1st of June. Yeah, June's sneaking up on us, mm -hmm, isn't it? Yes. And, and where is it happening in Flushing? In our beautiful Riverview Park. Yeah, we're looking at some photos here. And so like you said, this year, more than 70 vendors and artists. Yes. And they just set up in the park mm -hmm. and, you know, take your time, right? Peruse. Right, right. Talk about the variety of artists that you have. Oh, uh, we have everything from birdhouses to, you know, crocheting to, uh, woodworking, you want something for your lawn. The best thing is if you have something coming up like a bridal shower or something, you can come in down and find a unique gift that yes. the person's not going to find anywhere else. And you're uh, celebrating artists in the process and their, yes. their creativity. Yes. It's my understanding too that you have a raffle. What you're raffling off? We do have a raffle of a um, next grill, which is kind of like the Blackstone, the flat top grills. Um, so that'll be available in our women's club tent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look for your tent right? Right. and buy a raffle ticket or yes. two, right? Or two or five. Or yeah, <laughs> and also we saw in those pictures uh, food as well. Food trucks oh. will be there. Yes, food trucks and the Lions Club will be there with their hot dogs and their kielbasa. And we have a popcorn stand and lemonade, so you can stay right there and eat and keep on shopping. Yes, yeah, spend all day. Again, a great tradition, 58 years this mm -hmm. year. Congrats on that, put on by the Flushing Women's Club. Again, Art in the Park happening there at Flushing's Riverview Park this Saturday from nine to four, uh, you don't want to miss it. And um, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for Good having to us. See you.